She wasn't going to come up as soon as I got the food. But I know there was some hay there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just calmly. She's the sweetest little cow. Will she be okay if we come and pat her now? Yeah, yeah, you can do anything you like, Matt. Yeah. Mm. Mm. She's warm. Mm -hmm. It's been in the sun, hasn't she? Delta, is Delta a boy or a girl? That's a little girl. Mm -hmm. Hey, Delta. Delta. Yeah, girl. And there, you've got to point the down so it goes in the bucket. Like Both hands. Both hands. Into the bucket. Up, down, up, down, really quickly. <laughs> really quickly. You've got to hit up here harder and you've got to get the hole of the teeth right up high so it's full of milk and then it's good. <laughs> that's it, you're doing good. Oh, that's great. It's so hard. What you're you ready to put that foot forward. You don't so want just to just watch your bucket. Hi, Lily. Is that nice? Yeah. Look at that papa in your tummy. Hi Lily, you're a good girl sweetheart, well done, well done mama, well done, good girl, you're a good girl, well done. Well done mama, you're a good girl. Yes, you are. Well done. You had a sneaky surprise. Yeah. A little bit sneaky. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, you wait till they're a bit bigger. Come to the lake. milking area and we are going to be just getting the bucket for now ready to go Here we go bucket's been cleaned and washed take it outside to get ready and set up our equipment ready for milking Lily our cow this is Jacob hello hi sweetheart hello buddy hi no, darling. <laughs> yeah, hello. Jacob was born about four days ago. He's a little boy, obviously. And this is his mum. And they're up here in the nursery garden. <laughs> Just so we can keep an eye on. We wouldn't normally bother having uh, him up here. But because he couldn't walk when he was first born, we wanted to make sure he was going to be okay so we fed him for the first couple of days with syringe and bottles and until he could get strong enough to stand up and have some milk and now he's pretty well got the hang of things with getting on to mum but we still have to milk mum because she's producing more milk than he can take and he seems to like her back teeth so on a cow there's an udder, that's where her milk is, you can see at the back there, and she has four teats, she has one bubba, and he tends to like the little teats at the back, and the, the two teats at the front we like, because that's where we get our milk from, um, but we don't take the milk at the moment, because it's all for little Jake here, but uh, so that she doesn't get mastitis, which is an infection in her milk and her blood, from not getting rid of enough milk, we want to make sure that we milk her out. Once little Jakey's big enough, he'll be able to have all that milk and then we'll just go back to milking her every second day. So we're gonna go and take her over now to have her milking done, ready to clean out those front two udders. All right, let's go. Now she's seen the oats, it's her favourite thing. As you can see, off she goes, she's on a mission. And Jake following behind, because he follows his mum everywhere. <laughs> oh, a bit of jumping, a bit of excitement. You gonna have a jump again, Jake? Yeah, but you'll need to lock her in. Come on, Jakey, come on. So we've just temporarily got the head bale up here, which is where her head goes in. Yeah, are you making some little moas and little moon moose noises? She's gonna go into the head bale to have her food. I'm gonna lock her in there, get set up. Bubby's having some milk, good timing. So we'll get the chair out, maybe go on the other side. That's okay. And the Vaseline, put some Vaseline on there. Hello, ready? We'll put some Vaseline on for our fingers so it's easier and doesn't hurt Lily's teats. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> He's like, what's that? 
And before we do that, we're going to give her a wash. So let's wash some warm soapy water all around her teeth. And we do that normally if we're making the milk for us so that we can have nice clean milk. We wouldn't normally do um, milking and feeding together with baby. But this is so we can have nice clean milk. And then afterwards we'll show you the video how we filter the milk for us. But at the moment all we're doing is just getting the milk out to make sure she doesn't get mastitis. So yeah, let's have a go. Mm. So baby often pumps his head into mum, which is part of his um, routine to get the milk to let down to come out faster. When I come over to milk Lily, I normally come and say, hello, hi Lily, I'm gonna come give you some milk, get some milk out. And we'll have a look here. And we'll start squeezing that milk out. <laughs> we're, having, we're all having a go, but at the back, it's quite full there. Bubby hasn't had a lot, so we'll have to keep an eye on that. Do I haven't. Do you want to put some on? Her legs and the poop. I got the back one. I'm sorry, she the big one comes out. Let's let Lily out. Maybe get Dad get the bucket. Grab the bucket. And Bubby's a bit cold. And off we go. See if she wants some of that. Oh, I think she's got some pellets in her mouth. Milk Lily. Oh, Bubby's excited. Gonna have some milk, Bubby. All right, we'll see you later. Thank you so much, Lily. Bye, Jacob. Okay, so we've just come back from milking and we're gonna wash our hands thoroughly now. So 
we've got a few different ways of filtering. We've got our um, tr traditional filter where we've got paper filters. We've got um, another filter which we've got today, which is like a net. Should we go get that one? Oh, we could try that one, but that needs washing. So you can get it and do some washing. And we've got a traditional um, cheesecloth. And that is the old fashioned way of doing things, but it works really well. And often if we're filtering for us, uh, for, for drinking, which this milk is not for us for drinking at all today. Um, it's just to milk out the cow so she doesn't get mastitis, which is a, an infection in her udder. And that's if she, the baby's not getting enough milk out or um, mum does get an infection there from hygiene or dirt from Bubby getting on there and, she's, and her teeth gets blocked up. So this is what we use. And we usually filter our milk probably two or three times to get out any debris or anything like that. The cream still stays in there, but um, we're going to filter it today. We're keeping the milk because we were uh, bottle feeding the baby initially just to help him because he was a newborn and he was premature and he wasn't able to stand or take mum's milk at that in those first few days and he's got a lot better now. So, um, but we're still keeping the milk just in case and monitoring him in our garden before we put them back into the paddock to make sure he is getting enough milk. So this is the new filter. So do you want to go and give that a good wash with some soap, warm soap on there? What soap? Just the hand soap's fine, so without detergent. Yeah, just put a little bit in there, swish it around with your hand as well. I do both sides until all the bubbles are gone. Get all the bubbles off. Give it a squeeze at the bottom. Squeeze the net at the bottom. Like that. Yeah, and then rinse again. So this this one we haven't tried yet. Okay, so Hopefully that should be good. We'll see how it goes. And, uh, and then if we need to, we'll go back to the cheesecloth. So. I'm gonna hold that on you. So let's give this a go and see how well that does the filtering. Okay. Oh, hang on, hang on, <laughs> hang on. Watch, just keep it in the middle, it's spilling out. Okay. That's it. And then we put the uh, bucket in the sink, and you can see it's caught some things in there that we didn't want to go into the milk. And as I say, then we would filter that again anyway. There doesn't seem to be anything in there, but we'd still, normally if we're going to drink this, we would filter it again probably two or three times. So we're gonna put that there ready for washing up. And then we're going to get the bottles and the... How many litres? Yeah, how many litres we get 1. from the 1.5 litres. She's pretty standard. She does 1.5 every time we milk her. Or 1.75. Mm -hmm. Do you want to go and get the bottles and the red... Um, so with the bucket, we'll fill it up with warm soapy water. And we'll rinse out the net that we just used as well. And then we'll just give it a scrub, um, not hot water, and not sterilizing it to the point of baking in the milk into the, um, the can, the bucket. Um, but we just give it a good, nice soak and a wash so that it comes off and it is hygienic again, ready to go for the next milking. You can see the milk um, at the moment quite a yellowy creamy colour and that's because it's got colostrum which is some lovely uh, immunity building milk that us as humans have for our babies as well as cows. And there's our milk jug which carries one litre so we'll probably need another container as well. And the milk that normally comes out is still a creamy colour but not as yellowy as that. Okay, so we've got the jug ready to go into the milk bottle. And we just have to 
try and get another one. And that has to be put into the sink to be washed out as well. That goes straight into the fridge. And what we're doing with this milk is we're some milk we're saving for baby in case he needs some, which it's looking better and better each day that he doesn't. And then we give some to the dogs um, if there's any left over. Uh, so yeah, and then once in about uh, probably the end of next week, so baby will be about two weeks old, we'll probably start milking her again. So because what baby's doing, baby Jake the calf, is he is sucking the back two teats of his mum because mum has four teats and then um, the two teats in the front are being left full so we have to milk her out and that milk in the front we're going to be using and baby Jake is going to be using the back two in her four udders two of the four udders and then as he gets bigger he'll need more and we'll back off um, a little bit more on the milking so it just becomes every second day of milking instead of every day again so these are some of the bottles that we were using for baby Jacob and this one has a uh, it's a bit harder for him to suck so he didn't really like that one it's got a, a suction as well as a vent but it's very hard for him to get the milk out of that then this one is more for premature calves or babies newborn babies and it is a good way because you can push it to get the milk out he also didn't like that one <laughs> We were initially syringe feeding, which worked really well and our mum was great at doing that. And he's got his other favourite bottle, which is in the kitchen. Do you want to grab that? This is our milking station mud room, where we come in and do all the cleaning for the livestock and the cow for our things that we need to make hygienic but keep away from our main kitchen area. And here's his favourite bottle which you can change how quickly or how slow the milk comes out you can see there's a bit of milk in there ready to go and um, he makes a little sucking noise when he's having it but he's he's not interested at the moment because I think he is getting enough milk but we're just going to keep monitoring him for the next couple of days all right thanks for watching you can see Lily's milk here in the fridge and all the beautiful thick cream on top delicious fresh creamy milk